Hey guys, this is Zang Zang Lego Miyak with another showcase video and this is the Wave 2 of Star Wars The Force Awakens. I have six figures done and these are the original cast. My, uh, you know, you guys know that Star Wars uh, was basically my childhood and I really love the originals. Screw the prequels. Except for the third one that was actually meh. And so yeah, I'm really glad to continue this series. Hopefully uh, the Star Wars hype isn't died, didn't die just yet, <laughs> because I still have one more wave to go. The major wave, and that is the First Order Showcase. And maybe a uh, futures in a row if, if I don't feel like making a Maz Kanata figure because I really don't care. Plus, that set is ridiculously expensive. Even if I have a job, I still want to save money because um, I think I'd rather spend that money on the Civil War sets for Marvel. Uh, and then just and then also buy that last Batman v Superman set so I can, can continue working on my figures I mean basically two of them are done like there's Batman there and there's a uh, Superman but I need that Wonder Woman and hopefully if there is time I can make uh, Two more figures for the movie, but uh, I don't know. I'm just sticking with the, the Trinity. So uh, Back to Star Wars. I have Luke, Leia, Han, Chewie, C-3PO and R2 and yeah, this showcase video wouldn't have happened uh, if it wasn't <laughs> for Malcolm just for giving me a green lightsaber. The correct color for Luke. So yeah, all these figures were are just based off my design. It does look similar to others, yes, but I did make sure that this is all my original work and you guys will see later on. And so yeah, and we'll just start with the showcase video then. To start with our first minifigure, we have Luke Skywalker, and he was a really interesting figure. And to go over, well, let me remove his lightsaber out of the way, starting from the top to the bottom with his head. I'm going to try and make sure this showcase video doesn't take too long. Um, starting with his head, this is an Anakin Skywalker um, hairpiece, one, yeah, we all know that. And the head was actually the Mandarin from the Iron Man 3 sets. I thought it worked well for um, Mark Mark Hamill. It does work out pretty well, but I do... I do think the using the original Luke Skywalker headpiece, just like what Lego Magic Nine did, my good buddy Aaron, he, he did it when he did uh, use the Luke's head. It actually looks a lot better. Um, but if you don't have that head like I do, and you don't feel like brick planking or painting it, um, just use the Mandarin head. I don't, I didn't feel like painting faces. In fact, uh, for most of my custom minifigures now, I'm just, I'm not even painting, I'm not painting a lot of faces because it's stupid. And it takes too much time. So, yeah, and the, the rope, I'm actually selling these robes. Like, it's only the robe part, not the sleeves and the inside tunic. Because, you know, I have a lot of fabric uh, that my parents gave me. Uh, they gave me a giant she is like, um, it's like two curtains or something. Um, they gave me that. And I was like, you know what? Maybe I should do make some money to help uh, for college and stuff. So I decided why not sell these. So far I gave I gave like three of the robes and I gave like other random accessories that are like um, Heat Waves jacket, Captain Cold stuff to my good buddy Malcolm and he loves it. And the people who got these robes, they enjoy it too. So if you guys are interested, my email is down below if you're interested in like Luke's robe or if you're if you want something else entirely, uh, also let me know and I could probably work something out for you. So and you can, uh, I don't have like a chrome hand or anything, so I just use a standard uh, gray hand, just like on um, paint. I just like weathered it with silver a bit, just to give it a little bit of a metallic feel, and you can kind of see it reflecting a bit. So, and the, the sleeves were just annoying to like make. That's why I'm not selling these sleeves, and they're actually glued on. So, to remove the sleeves, and I'm going to do that, and and show you what he looks like without it. I also forgot to mention, um, actually, uh, in the, the Force Awakens, Luke does not have a, a sleeve robes, uh, no, robes with like these sleeves. Um, I thought he had sleeves, um, lo looking at the reference photos, but in the movie, I thought he just took off the sleeves and just wear it like an over cape. That's what I thought, but apparently, there are no sleeves. It is supposed to be an over cape that has a hood. So, the one that um, my, my friend Aaron has, that's actually a much more accurate design. But it's fine because I'm, with his tunic, you can see him without it. Uh, the tunic goes all four sides. Uh, the front and back are glued, and then these parts are and these parts are glued onto like the hip part. So yeah, so if you have an over cape and you want to display your Luke with that instead, this can definitely work. So if you want to use a standard cape, just like a lot more accurate than a robes, 
then you can you can choose to do this too. That it gives you two options. You can probably use the rope for something else. And yeah, the rope does have a hood, but it does not go over the minifigure's head that well. So yeah, that's basically um Luke, there's not much in and, and the lightsaber. Um, the reason why I'm crediting my um, buddy Malcolm is because um, he gave me the green lightsaber blade. That's basically it. And he also gave me more stuff, but that's for like future custom. And he gave me something very uh, useful for like uh, my first order showcase, and you guys will find that out. Um, this is basically a standard lightsaber blade, but there's so much to go over. Like um, this, the top part is like the uh, like the ordinary lightsaber hilt, just in reverse. And I basically drilled the top. And um, the the thin piece that's the antenna piece, and that's with a flex tube. And then the, if you guys know those like um gray hammer, uh, I basically cut the the handle from that, and the bottom part of the lightsaber hilt with some Procreate. So that's how I made uh like Luke's lightsaber blade. Now he didn't, we didn't see him using this movie. He like threw it away in like Revenge, uh, Return of the Jedi. But I still I still like the design, and I just want to give him a lightsaber at least. And his arm is super floppy. <laughs> so, yeah, there's not much to say about Luke now, and we can go go on to the next pick. The next minifigure we have is General Leia, and I really love how she turned out, and this is the same, you know, the uh, Princess Leia hairpiece, we've seen this, but it had like a hole in the top, so basically I covered that with, uh, and I, I covered that uh, with Procreate, so yeah, you can tell. And I'm gonna put the hairpiece back. The head was actually um, the Imperial officer design that I based off, and uh, I really liked how it turned out. It does really, I mean, people are right, like Ross is right. Um, it does resemble General Leia's face. Uh, it does resemble Carrie Fisher. So, um, for uh, her trench coat, you know that this is um, Kate Manis. I used that. And what I did, inter uh, interesting enough, what I did. Uh, if you look at the top, I basically got a left leftover fabric and I just create like a color all around. And this was extremely hard to do. I even uh, made like a, for the fabric pieces, I made use for it by giving these triangle, like the collar and uh, the zipper and the belt. That was all fabric. Uh, no sculpting required except for part uh, on top of her hair piece. Now I know the the green is, in, is an inaccurate color. The reason why is because I don't feel like painting the whole figure, the the grayish green I don't know what color it is I just don't want I just don't feel like doing it so I just went with this color and besides it's fine okay so please deal with it I can tell some people in the comments are, hey, it's not accurate. It so and um for the boots I don't know what color her boots are if it's not black then I'm definitely gonna change it but it's just Ross had it black Aaron had it black so I was like and other people had it black so I was like okay I guess it's black so I went with black <laughs> and I did paint like a the inside, so I didn't paint like the, the you know, the curves like I do in minifigures. I'm still not going to buy air you know, like curved torsos. I know a lot of people keep buying that shit, but the reason why I don't do it is because if I do end up buying it, that means I have to buy like 20 more for my other 30 female characters I had like long time ago, like like Storm, or I have to redo my my Black Widows, and or like my Canaries, and all the, the female figures I made. I mean, it's just I just can't do that. All right, it, that's why I also don't buy uh, the Amazing Armory Iron Man torsos because fine because Legos their printing is fine. Okay, I don't I don't want to copy the same design Lego did for the Wonder Woman because that's gonna be a waste of my time. I don't I just don't want to do it. Painting curves is so much easier. And what about sanding the the sides for curves like what Lightning Bricks is doing? Well, it's the same exact thing. It take, but instead it's worse because you have to, the fact that you can't just buy the area like curved torsos that has the curves, you have to make your own curves, that just it doesn't make any sense. I'm not doing, I'm not gonna do that guys. I'm, I'm just gonna paint curved lines no matter what and nothing can stop me. And I'm like probably the only customizer who just paints line, the paints uh, the the curves like what Lego does. And I'm like the only one maybe. And so that's unique for me. At least I'm doing something different. So. That's a little rant for you guys. <laughs> Interesting rant. I think I should make rant videos often because a lot of people loved my rant video for like the problems with the Lego custom community. <coughs> Ross boys. So, yeah, that's basically it for General Leia. That's why I just kept talking because there's nothing to say about this figure. It's talking about this figure is like talking about a wall. What am I supposed to say? It's the Leia. It's a Leia figure. So, move on to the next figure. Yep.
Hansel is my second favorite figure from the showcase video. I'm gonna move the background a little bit. So um, to start off like with uh, the hair, the hair is a standard one. Um, there it's not the most accurate for his hair style, but it's meh. I don't care. The face was actually all painted by me. I actually like what Lego did. It's just the the thing is the mouth is a little bit strange. I mean, it's too much of an S. If they maybe changed that a little bit, that would have been perfect, and I would have based mine off of theirs. But I didn't because screw that. So I painted that. It doesn't. Um, is it a my best painted face? Uh, not really. I actually like my General Hux uh painted face a lot better than this but it's because you know it's when you're painting like old people it's just a lot more it's a lot difficult than you think when you have to paint all these wrinkles in the backs under the eyes without making them look so derpy so but he doesn't look that bad i mean he looks better than my other old figures like i mean like pierce and etc and to start like um you know this is a cape man is it was actually a cape man is trench coat but i basically heavily modified it to, to make it look some sort of a long jacket kind of like what i did for finn so i like how it turned out it looks I made it shorter though because people said um, the Finn's jacket was too long and I do see where they're coming from so yeah it's um it's all dark uh, brown and for the inside I love the inside because what I did I did the same thing for Leia uh, giving them a 3d color and yeah and you can't really see the flesh paint uh, on top so I'm gonna so that yeah and you can see the flesh paint and you see how it corresponds with a, a 3d element of fabric I added here and the belt, the belt is my, my favorite part. This is what makes the minifigure great. The belt is actually all 3D. And it was basically a lot of cutting up fabric and a lot of sculpting. So you can see like um, if I, uh, there's actually a sculpted pouch up there. Uh, I don't know what these three things are. I don't know. Uh, you can see like the pouch there, the, the little pouches here. And I sculpted a gun holster. And you can see a little bit of sculpting there, but I can't take off the jacket. Um, and you can see, yeah, the fabric also wraps around his leg, and I really liked how it turned out. And I painted his boots in a dark, in, is it dark? I think it's dark brown or black, uh, whatever. Uh, so I painted it in that color, and the, this is a Brick Arms DL44. It's a lot smaller than I thought, and um, but it's still really cool. I I ordered another one of this. Oh, no, 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 actually... I ordered something similar to this because I'm making one Star Wars figure from the original trilogy and and no it's not hot and you guys will find out because I am I am planning to make that figure because I love that outfit so much uh, so yeah nothing much for Han except that he's my one of my favorite figures I made so let's move on to the next Chewbacca was definitely a, a challenge for me because uh, this was actually not the the new Chewbacca head because I think that Chewbacca head looks super derpy This is actually an old mold for Chewbacca a long time ago, and I had this and you know, I'll tell you this pa I Basically, I painted everything the old Chewbacca head. The only thing that was printed is the nose eyes mouth There's no printing at all and the the whole Mold itself. It's in a different brown color. It's like um it's like if it's like the the color of my sick fix pants. That was the color before for the head. And I completely changed it. And and if I'm going to carefully I'm going to carefully remove this uh bowcaster. If I just like take off the head, you can see that. You can see like the the color difference sort of. So yeah. And for the arms and legs, I basically did the same technique with Billy Dylan used and Aaron for their Chewbacca like like on the extended arms and legs because I do think it works for Chewbacca It makes him a lot more a lot taller than Standard minifigures because that's how he's supposed to be he's supposed to be giant and I'm doing a lot of extended minifigures arms and legs like for Colossus here so and I really like how he turned out he has a bandolier that goes all around that was actually all sculpted also because Lego did molded it, but the it didn't really look that and but it didn't really stand on that well and then my favorite and one of my other, the best parts is he has a pouch and that's fabric on the side and the arms and legs yeah um the coloring was was pretty tedious and uh sculpting this was oh my goodness so what i sculpted is basically entirely his arms uh so that way the two parts of the arm can connect his legs the only parts that are sculpted on his legs are like the the bottom parts like away from the from the the actual articulated leg itself and the side of this leg that's it the back is not sculpted and the inside of the leg is not sculpted but you can kind of see like a very tense like a 
of different colors that's supposed to represent his fur line. You can't really see it that well on camera, but I mean, if I show you in real life, you'll probably see it. Yeah, and the bottom are basically like the, the one by one tile, just sanded on the inside. And yeah, that's Chewbacca. And he has a bowcaster, and I have to credit my, my good friend Legomatic9 for the idea of the bowcaster. I really like what he did using, I didn't really use the same method he did, but I did use the same materials. Um, like using like the, the scopes from the blasters, using uh, like using a string. Uh, I didn't really know how he did the back. Oh wait, he used like some sort of a brick arms weapon, but I don't feel like doing that. I think just leaving this is perfect. Anyway, this is actually entirely brown before the the, the base of the the crossbow, uh, but I painted it black and I cut off the bottom handle. I replaced it with a black axle because you know if you paint like on something, on if you like if I paint this like black and have Chewie hold hold it, it just wouldn't work. And um, one thing I noticed people didn't add is the strap. He has the the strap. I believe he has that in the Force Awakens. I'm not entirely sure. I based this off of Google. Uh, and I'm not sure if it was the one in the Force Awakens or if it's from the original trilogy. Uh, point is, he has a strap. I added it. Whatever. If it's not there, I don't care. And these these two tips are actually not Procreate. These are the the antenna tops. Uh, from, you know, like the the same piece I always use. Yeah. So that's Chewbacca. I really love how he turned out. My he's probably my third favorite. Um, least is Leia because there's not much you can say. <laughs> so yeah, that's Chewie. Moving on to the next. C-3PO was a really cool minifigure. I mean, there wasn't much I had to do with him because um, Lego did a really good job with the minifigure. And to start off, like basically um, with his head, uh, I basically outlined that in brown. And you can see like the brown dots that goes around his head, like this ring. I originally painted like brown on like a near his mouth, but um, it didn't look good, so I scrapped that. I painted like a brown outline on his nose, black on his eyes and mouth. And just brown a lot, and a lot of brown. And the only thing I did with the torso was basically sculpted this back, and that was basically it. And a little bit to connect, help connect like the 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 torso to the legs itself. The legs were super tedious. But before we get to that, the arms. So to start off with his regular arm, um, you can see like the there's like the sculpted bits in the bottom. I did paint. I didn't paint that much on it because um, there wasn't much painting to be done except for like kind of like part of the inside. And I I glued a thread because he has like some sort of a pulley between his between his arms. And I did the exact same thing for his red arm. And uh, why does he have this red arm? Maybe he jerked off to Daisy Ridley's nudes too much. I don't know. Um, oh, that's a good idea for a skit. Um, so um, for the legs, I basically painted all the inside of the legs. All that was me. And the size of legs, basically the one thing I painted is like this like circular area here, this giant line, and basically the feet. And that's basically it for C-3PO. You might think, um, oh, C-3PO didn't take that much time because um, Lego did a good job printing it. Lego definitely did. Hands down, this is one of their best printed figures. Um, actually, no, I lied, Wonder Woman is. But he's, he's still really good. But there is still a lot more that I wanted to do in this figure, so it's not like I just half-assed everything, even though I half ass on all my figures, and they look, and they somehow look good, and you guys like it somehow, and I think most of them are shit, but, eh, whatever. Um, so yeah, that's basically C-3PO, and we can move on to our next gay robot. So we're moving on to C-3PO's boyfriend, and that is R2. So that's why they're two gay robots, I like to call them, because it's fun. And to start off, like, basically with uh, the, the whole entire figure, you guys know this is the updated, like, C uh, R2-D2. The one, it, I believe it debuted in um, the Episode 3 set with Anakin's new Jedi Interceptor. I bricklink this dude because I do have like in the original R2, but it doesn't have like the, the good printing and all. And plus the dome is so much better. Uh, basically to start with the dome, um, I'm gonna remove his his um third leg. His dick! Um, uh, you can see like I sculpted like uh, the top, per uh, is it called a periscope? Um, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. His like, his like main eye, I basically sculpted that uh, the blue part because it is it's supposed to like stick out and I basically use the same antenna piece slice that glued it on top and painted it white to give it a little glare I s use the same antenna piece to for his other eye and he has like two other eyes in the back and you can see like one there and one there and I basically sculpt and I sanded off the stud and I sculpted with procreate with dark blue 
So that's how I did, did, did the head. And I'm gonna, there's actually a uh, interesting feature with the head, but I, I wanna save that for last. And for his body, the front part of the body didn't do much. I sanded it off the bottom stud and I uh, uh, sculpted Procreate all around the ring because he has that in a movie, like some sort of like, like a little indent like that. So yeah, it's pretty accurate. I also sculpted on the inside of the legs where the, the threads connect to the leg. So I sculpted in that. Uh, I also sculpted in the side. You, this used to be a gap, but I sculpted that entire gap in, and I sculpted this little cylinder that's that's horizontal. And and the back is all painted by me. It the paint job is not my best on the back, and uh, not comparing to the uh, front, it's not that good. But I still like it nonetheless. I think it turned out all right. And he and he's my number one fi uh, favorite figure because he took s he took a long time, like no joke. And it's not just for painting, it's just, he, I really think he's one of my most innovative custom minifigures ever because there's so much thing I packed into it, like the threads, the sculpted bits, and and uh, for the third leg, I was originally going to have this uh, movable hinge, so, so and it's kind of retractable, you can extend it a little bit, but that did not work out because um, it made his body look like this, and that just doesn't look good at all. So I went with using a one-by-one -one tile, uh... I use Procreate and just stick like a random axle in, so it, so it can be like an uh, arc. So putting back his um, penis on the third leg back in. So yeah, we have that. I wonder why C3PO is turned on by him. Um, going to his dome, you guys want to see it? I think you know what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Yay! His head can rotate! This is why he is most he is my favorite custom minifigure in this showcase. It's probably my most innovative one because I've never seen a lot of people um doing doing this sort of thing ever since I proposed the idea on Instagram. I I actually did a test run not with an R2 figure but with a similar like a with a yellow dome and a black body before and I it worked. I was like, "Oh my goodness, it's awesome." So for the dome, I basically sculpted around the rings with Procreate. And what I did how to make this happen is basically I sanded off the all four studs, but you have to be very be very careful because whenever you're sanding, you're always like um um tilting your hand one way or another. So you might so this thing won't be entirely straight. To make sure to keep testing it, make sure you sand it as much as possible. And when you check, put the put the head back in, and try to see if you can twist it. And if if you know if the head like just falls off, then you're good to go. But if it seems like your head just sticks in one location, and you just can't move it, and it seems like it's not that. Uh, movable then keep sanding the that same that spot and that's what I keep doing here it's not that even because there are because there are some like um this whole this part was sanded a little bit more than the rest so you have to be very be very very careful and I have to be extremely careful when making this because I only bought one R2 figure so if I screw up one R2 figure the whole thing's screwed up so yeah I really like the how his rotating head turned out. Turns out I'm not the only one who thought of this idea. Oh yeah, um, this was actually a cone piece, uh, and I cut off the stud and I glued it. Apparently, turns out some uh, I wasn't the only one who had the idea, according to some of my friends. Uh, some people I saw on Instagram uh, thought they did it first, but when I showed them that no, but I posted it first, and it it was kind of suspicious. I wasn't sure if they're actually serious or they're just just lying try and tick my idea because those types of people were following me on Instagram and I posted it way before they did so that is kind of suspicious but I don't care if you guys want to use this idea go ahead because I think this makes your R2 figure super swag and that's it I will conclude this video Ben I have something to tell you my father your grandfather he renounced the dark side and became good again because of that, he actually saved the whole entire universe. You could do the same too. You don't have to be a fanboy of him. Oh, well, thanks for telling me. Uh, yeah, because I was planning to do something really terrible later, like probably kill an old guy on a desert planet, and kill a lot of villagers, even kill my father, and kill, like, many other people. Boss people around, taking orders from Gollum, kidnap a hot chick who I won't even pork with for some apparent reason. And later on, get my ass kicked by the in a lightsaber duel with the same hot chick, and end up getting a sweet looking scar. <laughs> we can't let that happen, now can we? <laughs> right? Lucas Kylo. Ren
that's all the that's all the time guys so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do leave a like in the comment down below follow me on my social media sites and be sure to check them out because i do post a lot in there and hope you guys, uh, i appreciate you guys like um subscribing to my channel and asking for more star wars stuff and i'm probably gonna make more star wars stuff outside of the force awakens i'm probably gonna make something from the originals uh hopefully if i have the time it's just i don't because um I have so many things to plan, like I have like some version 2's I'm like considering like mostly from the CW and a lot of DC stuff like not just like Legends of Tomorrow or Suicide Squad but um uh, and Batman v Superman there's actually other things I'm considering about there are some things I'm throwing in there I, I haven't even finished my X-Men figures in such a long time it's been a year so I really gotta finish that that's probably gonna be the next showcase video after uh the Star Wars video or after the after the next showcase video I really got to get that X-Men done so yeah I got to re repaint some stuff on them because I'm some of the the paint jobs are not good because these these figures are a year old and you can see uh, Wolverine's eyes is just too big so I got to fix some of that uh, some of them I'm just keeping the way it is like a Cyclops I like how he looks like uh, it, some people are complaining about like uh, the goggles that's too big and there's not enough red there's actually red on the sides but uh, I guess a lot of people just don't see that and Magneto he's he's basically done I'm gonna basically the repaints are like Wolverine's parts of Wolverine's face Storm's new head it uh, the entire Jean Grey minifigure I, which I still need to buy that hair piece Professor X need to repaint uh, his head but other than that there they they won't take that long so that's all i have and yeah i'll see you guys later bye bye I think Luke Skywalker is Kylo Ren.